Jackie Costick and right now on your 13 action news update. Look up to the sky tomorrow. The Thunderbirds will be doing a flyover as they return home from a show in Florida. The flyover is set to start above the South Point Hotel and Casino and head north from there. It's set to start just before one in the afternoon and tomorrow's flyover will feature six to eight F-16 jets. Well, just in time for the time change, the RTC is adding lighting to nearly 1400 bus stops throughout Southern Nevada. That's all being done to make sure riders feel safer while they're waiting for the bus. As part of the lighting projects, nearly 1100 bus shelters are getting a new lighting system installed, while solar lights are being installed at 300 other bus stops. The RTC is leveraging $4 million in federal grant funding to pay for those projects. Next week, a licensed sex worker is planning to file a lawsuit against Governor Steve Sisolak to force brothels to reopen. They've been shut down since March, of course, and little claims that the governor is singling out the sex industry. And the governor, governor's office says that they do not comment on pending litigation. And a really beautiful Sunday evening out there as we take a look outside of the uh, stratosphere. They're really a uh, calm and cool evening. Those temperatures remaining on the cool side and that cool down will continue through the evening. 65 degrees by midnight and then 62 by 3 and 4 a.m. Those winds remaining calm, uh, but a slight breeze out of the west southwest. So we're talking about some of those forecast highs and the averages. We are still above average here today. We were 9 degrees above average and we'll continue that trend through the rest of the week. Expect uh, conditions to be in the mid 80s to carry you through the work week with lows in the lower 60s. All right, Austin, thank you for that. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com, our mobile app, Roku channel, and the latest version of Apple TV.